So this is what we've got uh, going on with the Mac Pro trying to flash a Xbox 360 light on 7 series DVD drive. Um, basically i uh, got 4 caddies on the Mac Pro um, for hard drives. Um, I could only seem to get it to work on the third caddy which is what it looks like just over there. Um, basically, uh, Mac Pro caddies are a little bit weird, um, so what I needed to do was go out and grab um, two male to female SATA cables. I got this from a local Maplin, uh, which they're about £5 each. Um, so, what you're kind of looking at here, and there's the joint. Okay, I did have to shave uh, one of those down. Um, just so I didn't damage any of the connectors um, actually on the logic board um, of the Mac Pro, which is over there. Um, so that got, uh, that got shaved down to fit them in. Um, just down here, connected to the cable, is the actual light on drive um, and the CK3 Pro. Um, let me just switch this around. There you go. So, uh, light on drive. CK3 Pro. Um, there's the Pro. Just on the floor there. Um, basically, what we what you do with the CK3 Pro is it needs power. So, as you can see on the back there, um, just there, you've got a little Molex power adapter. Now. I could have kind of tried to jury rig something together um, and got some power out of the Mac Pro, but no, I didn't really want to bother doing that. So I ran out and I grabbed one of these little fellas. Uh, it was just a standard PC power supply unit. Um, it was £10. Um, needed to do the little um, paperclip or wire trick. Um, on the 20 pin connector on that um, just to make it think that it was connected to a um, motherboard so that it would fire up um, but yeah so I've got my going straight into the CK3 there obviously the USB uh, from the CK3 which is going into the Mac Pro just there um, SAT cable from the Mac Pro into the DVD drive that's what we've talked about um, and we've got the probe um, just kind of down here. Uh, kind of hard to focus uh, with the 7D with one hand. Haha. <laughs> 